Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man with some very important information if you use an antenna for local channels. Recently, several people complained to me that they can no longer pick up some channels after ATSC 3.0 or NextGen TV launched in their area. How is it that a new TV standard that promises better reception can actually end up negatively impacting reception for some antenna viewers? Will you lose channels when NextGen TV launches in your area? As a heads up, there are actually two reasons why some people lost channels when ATSC 3.0 or NextGen TV launched in their area, so please make sure to watch the full video. Don't just exit out after my first explanation in a few seconds, as I have an additional explanation later on. So why is it that some people lost channels that were picked up just fine when ATSC 3.0 launched in their area? Does it have something to do with DRM encryption or networks wanting people to pay for their channels instead of getting them for free with an antenna? To my surprise, no, at least not yet. There's actually a logical explanation. The first one is a bit complicated, but I will try my best to explain it. You see, when ATSC 3.0 launches in a market, one TV station converts their whole broadcast signal to the new TV standard. Displaced channels that were previously broadcast in ATSC 1.0 move to other TV stations in the area so people with ATSC 1.0 tuners can continue to watch them. The problem is if one of the displaced channels moves to a TV station that isn't picked up by a user's antenna, then those won't be picked up as well. Blah 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 blah, what on earth did I just say? Here's an example to better explain it. In Philadelphia, WPSG 57, recently converted to an ATSC 3.0 signal. It now carries all major networks in ATSC 3.0, but all the channels it previously broadcast had to go somewhere. 57 programming is now carried by sister station KYW, the subchannels Charge and Nest are now carried by Fox affiliate WTXF, and the subchannels TBD and Circle are now carried by ABC affiliate WPVI. If one of these stations wasn't picked up by an antenna before, such as the trash low VHF signal of WPVI, and the two subchannels from WPSG move to it, then a viewer will lose them. This sort of channel shuffling happens in every market that launches ATSC 3.0, which is why it's very important to have a decent antenna that picks up all local channels, not just some of them. Now there's an additional reason why some people may lose channels when ATSC 3.0 launches in a given area and it doesn't have to do with their antenna. It has to do with the MPEG-4 video codec. You see, most TV stations use MPEG-2 on ATSC 1.0, which basically works on all TVs that were purchased within the last 15 years. However, in order to fit on a broadcast signal that's basically already full, some TV stations are now broadcasting display subchannels in the more efficient MPEG-4 video codec. The problem is it can't be decoded on some older TVs and even DVRs like the third generation Tableau. Here's an example. In New York City, the TV station WPIX channel 11 recently converted to an ATSC 3.0 signal. The subchannels of Antenna TV and Rewind TV are now hosted by WXTV and MPEG-4. On some older TVs, only audio will play if you tune to one of these channels. One viewer even claims her third generation Tableau isn't decoding it at all. I include a link to a list of MPEG-4 channels in the description of the video. If you notice that one of your local channels is on this list and it is no longer picked up on one of the TVs in your house or just plays audio, the issue is likely the MPEG-4 codec. An easy workaround is to purchase the Mediasonic DTV box linked in the description. It costs less than $40 and decodes MPEG-4 channels. If you try to purchase it and receive an error like this, the workaround is to buy one off eBay. I include some links in the description. As more and more markets launch ATSC 3.0 with limited TV spectrum, Chicago you're next, some TV stations will disappear for one of the two reasons I mentioned. Either your antenna doesn't pick up a TV station that some channels move to when it converts to ATSC 3.0, or you own an older TV that doesn't decode MPEG-4. Now I don't see this shuffling of channels as a way for TV stations to push antenna viewers back to cable, satellite, or even streaming services to pay for their channels. 
It's simply the result of the FCC selling too much TV spectrum to cell phone companies, leaving very little room for ATSC 3.0 to launch in a given market. Be sure to check out my video about how billions of dollars was exchanged between cell phone companies, the FCC, and TV stations while antenna viewers suffered. Click the card in the corner or follow my link in the description to watch. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If you'd like to help support these videos while gaining exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man, click the join button this video or click the thanks button.